OK, so what I'd like to do for this problem is show you guys how to solve. All right, and what we notice is we have exponents right, on both sides. And so therefore, we're going to want to make sure that we remember our property of equality, which states that if we have b to the x equal to b to the y, therefore, we have x is equal to y, when obviously b is greater than 1 and b is not equal to 0. right? So ladies and gentlemen, we look at this and we say, all right, do we have the same bases? Right? Do we have our bases the same? No. So then what we want to do, Juliana, is make sure these are the same bases. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my 16 as 4 to the x minus 5 equals, well, I can rewrite 16 as equal to 4 squared, right? And if I write it in that format, then I know I'm going to have a base 4 on both sides. So I write 4 squared times 2x minus 31. Now what's helpful about that is now I can apply the power to power rule. And remember, the power to power rule says if I have a to the m raised to the n, that equals a to the m times n. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 2 times 2x minus 31. So I'll write that over here, 2 times 2x minus 31. But notice, ladies and gentlemen, this is a binomial, right? So 2 times 2x minus 31 is not just 2 times 2x. You have to make sure that you put that in parentheses so you're multiplying the 2 times both terms. Therefore, you get 4x minus 62. So I have 4x minus 5 equals 4 times the 4x minus 62. Does everybody see that? Now that I have exactly the same bases raised to powers and they're equal to each other, I can now just say x minus 5 is equal to 4x minus 62. And now we just need to solve using our um, inverse operations. So let's see here. I'll uh, hmm. Let's subtract the 4x. Okay. Okay. So let's add 5. All right, and then divide by negative 3 x equals a positive 19. Okay. Any questions on this? Or what I just did? My steps? No? Everybody feels good? Excellent day.